Feminines. Why feminine's current situation starting now? So once again, um, my current situation is really ain't built on relationships. So if you thirsty to see what's going on in your karmic relationship, you might want to fuck with them other sites and shit. Uh, it's different here. You don't need to be talking about your personal life anyway, right? Ha! <laughs> it! Head, shoulders, knees, and toes rent, and we shall begin. Head, that's swords, thoughts, decisions, mentality, ideology, the direction you're going, the decisions you're making. Um, your ideology, everything starts in the mind. Thoughts, you know. Cups. Cups are feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are just indicators of where you're going mentally. Your heart and mind must be aligned in everything that you do. We're not half-assing nothing around here. Wands. What are wands? Actions and behavior. Things you're doing or things you've done. Because things you're doing is accountability to that. It's karma to that. Karma reading. Things you've done. It's accountability to that. It's karma to that. We can roll with that. What you finna do has no accountability. Has no karma attached to it. What you finna do has no type. Nothing on there. So, um, pinnacles are persons, places, and things. Shit, you can taste, touch, see, feel in here. All pinnacles expire. All pinnacles have expiration dates. And all pinnacles have an end. Oh, we live in the third dimension. It's the matrix I like to call it. Third dimension in the world. Temporary space and time where all pinnacles expire. Four of Wands, that's the infinite. Different laws apply up there. So, overall energy is fairly important. Bottom line energy is very important. Top row, that's your direct energy feminine. Or conscious energy feminine. Bottom row is your karma. Let's get with it. First card is message. We got the seven of swords. This is the truth card. Truth is a sword. It's something you mentally register. Truth is, you keeping it 100 with somebody, somebody keeping it 100 with you, and you handling that shit, because it's the truth. It's going to get mad about the truth for it. Is you keeping it 100 with yourself about the truth of somebody keeping it 100 with you? Why are you keeping it 100 with somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Truth. This is darkness coming to the light. Some shit you ain't know about, you're finally being aware of. It's registering. Swords, truth is something you register. It's out. So now you can register it. Couldn't register it because it was hidden. Seven of Swords. This is a cat coming out the bag. Some shit that needs to be said. Say that shit. It ain't really a secret. It's just some shit that needs to be said. Like you see something you ain't had no business seeing. But thank God you seen it. Because you could you could tell everybody what the fuck this is. At least warn us. Maybe that makes your chances of living very slim after revealing Whatever this is that you saw that don't nobody know but you. Hey, spill it, nigga. Let us know. Put us on. Save millions. Ha! <laughs> By sacrificing yourself. Like, truth is real as fuck. There's all kind of truths out here. You know? And lastly, this is um just wearing too many hats. You being so many people to so many people, you forgot who your person is. You spreading yourself so thin out here, you ain't even got no you for you. You literally working seven jobs, right? And you show up to one of your jobs in a different uniform because you're so mentally out of it from wearing so many hats, from being so many people, and doing too goddamn much, which is the truth. Seven of Swords. Feminines, y'all gonna learn a lot about truth. <laughs> in every form I just described it, book coming out, all this stuff is in my book too, all these thorough ass terms and shit. Because when the book come out, I'm telling you, we just gonna go through it like y'all already know. <laughs> that's why I break it down, because the book ain't out yet, in case you ain't noticed. Uh, that's just fairly important. Bottom line, it's very important. We got Ten of Pentacles. This is a manifestation. What's a manifestation? Some shit that wasn't there, that's there now. Baby come out of nowhere. Who baby is this? Like I say, what's a pinnacle? It's something that's accountable. It's something with karma attached to it. <laughs> you being at a place, pinnacle, you ain't supposed to be. It's like you're a preacher, right? And you at a sex shop. 
and somebody catch you at the sex shop. Like, they place you at the scene of the, of the crime. Yo, I saw past that. Motherfucking hoe house. Or a sex shop. Or a strip club. Or a bar. You a pastor. That's your pinnacle. P-I-N-N-A-C-L-E. That's your place. Right? You have no place being in that place. You know what I mean? So if you were at that place and somebody seen you, that's you manifested yourself at that place. You had a thought to go to this place. You felt some type of way to get your ass going in the direction you wanted to go, going to that place or that person or that thing, right? Actions. What are actions? Things you've done or things you're doing. That's accountable and you can get karma for it. Not what you finna do. That has that don't mean shit. You could have finna went to the sex club, the sex spot, the strip club. Could have been one to do whatever the fuck you was doing. Nah, you did it. Wiser shit you're doing, right? And something manifested it from it. Kind of like the secret that's out here. Whatever the secret is, it's something that happened. Something that's there, something you can't deny. I told you, there's accountability and karma to everything. That can be in a place you ain't supposed to be. Doing some shit you ain't supposed to be doing. Or maybe you can go to this place or can do whatever the fuck you want to do. But given the place you at, the pinnacle you at in life, it might be a, a bad idea. Or a fucking a career ending move. Or a relationship ending move. Or integrity killing move. And darkness has to come to the light, nigga. Because, nigga, we're divines. That's what we do. We light up dark ass areas. Manifestation. Something's going to manifest. You know what I mean? And truth is going to have to be told after this shit come out. So if you've been hiding truth and truth presents itself, you're going to have to deal with that karma. If you know something, you feel it. Something's going to manifest or something's going to come to the light. Might as well be you to, you know, let that veil of uncertainty down and, and, and let people know what's going on. Right? And um, whatever that's going to happen is something real. This isn't a theory. This isn't a um, a vision. The Queen of Cups is not in here. We use that for the mass of the message. That's how I'll be dealing cards. Y'all peep that later too. Yeah, this is something real. Directly coming to the situation, feminine. You got the two of pentacles. This is you, somebody in your face, and somebody in your place, or somebody in your space, or somebody in your cipher, somebody in your crib, somebody in your car. Somebody you sit next to. Yeah, before you fuck anybody, they're in your face. Unless you at like a sex party where you just fucking randoms on some, some eyes wide shut shit. <laughs> this is a person you was doing dirt with. Yeah, we place you two at the scene of this crime. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Well, according to sources, the truth, motherfucker, we place you two here. What were you two doing? What do you two got going on? Like I said, like, hey, two of pentacles is a person, a person, a sub person that you can touch, smell, hear, right? This ain't no made up person. This ain't you and your invisible friend. This ain't you and the alibi. That's not an alibi. It's, this is facts right here. You and uh, you was at a place. You was with a person. You had a thing. <laughs> whatever this is it's gonna be accounted for good bad or ugly and i'm gonna just keep it at that yeah, something from the dark will come to life i mean i gotta ask a question what is this about queen of swords yeah whatever this thing is is something you consciously you 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 queen of swords this thing so whatever you and this person was doing Use ten toes to fuck down mentally about manifesting whatever you manifested with this person. Ten of Pentacles. This is two people come together like butt cheeks. You and this person came together like butt cheeks like a motherfucker. That was your conscious decision to do so. You put yourself at this exact location at this moment in time, right? Thus solidifying yourself. As being there, you accounted for it. being there. This is a fusion chamber. Just okay, boom, you was here. You made a clear cut decision for whatever this manifestation to happen, happen. It's good, bad, or ugly. Some feminine is gonna 
by them being at the right place at the right time, at the right moment, with the right person, doing the right thing. You're going to manifest something good, a blessing, something that's going to add to your life. Ugly. You was doing something. You was somewhere. <laughs> you had something. Somebody seen it and told on you. But whoever this person is, maybe they integrity shot. So maybe people don't believe a word this person said. You know, maybe they're the only person that saw you. Thus, they're not a problem. Could have went bad if it was the wrong other person. If it was another pinnacle, another person. <laughs> the shit would have went bad. And you got bad. Take that how you want. Feminine. That's what that's what your karma is going to be. Fuck a relationship. <laughs> Talk about shit you did. Some shit you manifested. That shit's going to come back. Good, bad, or ugly. Which, that's karma. What you do comes back. Do unto others as you do unto them. If you do people a certain way, you're going to get done the same way. If you're doing some shit, don't be so tripping out if this shit happens to you. I mean, yo, karma. Nah, that ain't even karma. This your direct energy. So, yeah, you directly, Queen of Swords. That's making a conscious decision to be ten toes the fuck down on one. So directly, yeah, you did some shit. Directly. Comment to that, awareness. It's just somebody gonna get aware of some shit you was doing in the dark. Somebody's gonna get aware or a whiff of some good shit you doing and probably copy and paste your shit, probably jock that, probably take that idea, probably steal that. And then you find out and then you sue their ass and you get paid from them trying to get paid off you. Like, whatever. Actually, that's the final cards. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, like, awareness. That's the karma. Somebody's going to get aware of some shit that you didn't think they was aware of. Whether it's somebody you give a fuck about, whether it's somebody you can give two squirrel farts about, being at a place is going to hurt something. Like Being with that person is going to hurt you in the long run. That's if it's bad or ugly. But it's some good shit that's going to happen from these freak accidents, from these whatever you did. <laughs> whatever you was doing. Um, feminine role, you personally, you got the seven of pentacles. This is the Riri card, R-E-R-E. -R -E. Uh, this is a C. Seven of pentacles is a 70%. 70% is a C, that's passing. A good standing is a B. A B is a life. 80%, eight of pentacles, that's your life in a car. That's shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, comfortable beds you sleeping on. Kids are in your life. God is in your life. Love is in your life. Your career, your job is in your life, car, clothes, whatever. I mean, you got pinnacles. That's what a life consists of. Your shit, your pinnacles, and your life consists of your shit. So, sometimes life gets rocky. Sometimes shifts happen. Sometimes we lose sight of what's really important in our life due to something we thought, like maybe grass was greener on the other side. Maybe we thought... Going in this direction was going to be better. Or maybe we thought doing this thing was going to make us feel good. Like, whatever the fuck it is. Sometimes our life falls apart. And it shows up as the Seven of Pentacles. Which is the Riri card. R-E-R-E. -R -E. You're going to have to reconnect some dots. Revalue some shit. Rewind a move. Reverse a move. Relocate, maybe. Remove people. Places and things out of your life. Rearrange some shit. Reunite. Relapse. Go to rehab. <laughs> you know? Reverb a fucking song you've been working on. Like, whatever it is. It's about seven REs you're going to have to do. To what? Get to the next step, which is a life. Get your life back on track. Oh, shit. The car right after it. <laughs> Karma to yourself is your life. So. Rearrange what you got to rearrange in your life. Remove who you got to remove in your life. Relocate your life. Okay? Revamp some shit. Recognize some shit. Like, for real. You're going to have to do about seven REs, feminine, to get your life back together after whatever this thing that manifests, manifests. I'm going to just keep it going. I like the tempo and how fast this is going. 
Y'all can check out the mask on the joint. Y'all love that so much. <laughs> Six of Cups. Six of Cups is the sauce. That's your steeds. That's your essence. That's what makes you you. The sauce. This is your energy in regards to the mask. Masculine energy could be the masculine with energy within yourself. We all have dual energy. I've got masculine energy and feminine in it. Oh my God. Feminine energy in me. I'm the divine feminine in my twin flame demo. So I got a lot of feminine energy. My twin sister, she's got a lot of masculine energy. My mother's got a lot of masculine energy. A few aunties in my family got a lot of masculine energy. They're not gay or lesbian or anything. I'm not homosexual or anything. <laughs> it's just like masculine women are alpha women. They wear the draws in a relationship. They're direct. They're not passive aggressive like they're beta partners. You know what I mean, we all know women like this. Like your mother, your grandmother, one of your aunties and shit. She was just like the nigga. <laughs> and her, her man was just like she Worship the ground she walked on. He let her take his check and do everything and the way the setup was and shit. You see masculines move in their relationship. I mean, my mom were draws of her shit. It's been like that since I was a kid. Fuck you mean? Like, my mom run shit. I see how she run niggas. I would never get done the way she run niggas, but <laughs> she a masculine. She just different. Ain't nothing masculine about my mother's physical. It's like, ain't nothing really masculine about my motherfucking physical. I mean, ain't nothing feminine about my physical. You can see my traits and shit. Just like you can see traits in a, a, a alpha woman and shit. But masculine feminine has shit nothing to do with the physical. Right? And everything to do with the wands. What are wands? That's what makes a divine masculine king of wands or a divine feminine a queen of wands. It's the shit you doing or the shit you done that makes you divine. So the shit that I'm doing and have done as a feminine energy, it's pretty cool. It's got me places. It's helped a lot of people. While my mom embracing her masculine energy and, 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 and doing shit and the shit she's done in that energy, she's created a whole bunch of businesses, became the first person to get her education, first person to get her master's, first person to own her own business, first person to own her own home, first person to move the fuck away from home and take her kids with her type shit. <laughs> Like, actions and behavior, that's what makes divines and masculines. And energy, that's what makes masculines and feminines. You know? Sauce, though. Feminine is the sauce maker. Masculines are the sauce takers. You can tell. I'll say that shit one more time. Six of Cups is the sauce. Your steeds, your essence, this is what makes you you. Feminines are the sauce makers. Masculines are the sauce takers. What's the sauce maker? She's Michael Jackson. Sauce taker is Tito. What's the sauce maker? That's the bartender. The sauce sauce maker. That's the bartender, the wine feminine. Sauce taker is the bar patron, the mask. What's the sauce maker? The drug dealer. Or the person that cooks the drugs. <laughs> the maker of the drugs. The addict. They're like the mask. Without the customer, you wouldn't have shit clientele. You know what I mean? If there wasn't no... Drugs, you wouldn't have drug addicts. If there wasn't no bartender, there wouldn't be nobody at this bar tonight. Without Michael Jackson, you wouldn't have the Jacksons. But without the Jacksons, you wouldn't have Michael Jackson. So it's a relationship. The sauce you bring it or give it. Feminists, you saucy as hell. You make sauce. So people are going to take your sauce. They're going to take your steez. They're going to take your look. They're going to take your sh everything. It's original. It's saucy. And it's, it's plentiful. You move and make this shit effortlessly and frequently. That's why you can make a, a, a plethora, a multitude of it, like two fish and five loaves of bread, feeding a whole multitude of people with, it's like you really pulling this shit out the infinite. That's why people take. That's why people steal. That's why people gank. If you had the ability to feed a whole multitude of people with two fish and five loaves of bread, of course people are going to take seconds on your ass. Hey, I'm feeding a whole multitude. I'm trying to feed everybody. I just seen you here come three times to get a fucking plate. I'm just here to make sure there's still some left. That's motherfuckers who, who steal sauce. That's what they would do. Like a fucking ganker. <laughs> that's their swag. They'll literally go wherever Jesus was at when he was doing that miracle. They the type of motherfucker that'll snatch. I'll go back for seconds and thirds. 
Number one, they don't even respect Christ enough to even see that this is a good deed or a good act that everybody needs to kind of share into for everybody to get fed here. But you know the haters, you know the jockers, you know the, them, karmics, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they coming back just to see if you still in operation, as if you still in business and shit. You're like, you know what I mean? Hey, sauce, be aware of it. It's your influence on people. Sauce is. Like, you could be addictive. You can be conveying. You can have an influence on people that you don't even know you have. That's why you got to know your influence. Know your true power. So you ain't deceiving motherfuckers. So you ain't like stirring up a, a, a nest that you don't even think you the queen bee in. That happens with a lot of masculines. They don't know the influence that they have. They don't know they're saucy. And that people are drawn into their sauce. Including you, feminine. You got that draw. He's got that draw. Like, wh whoever you are, feminine, that's who your masculine is. So, yeah, sauce. You got to know your effect on people. You know, if you know giving up the box creates stalkers, stop creating stalkers. I didn't say stop giving out the box. I just say stop making stalkers. If what you saying and doing is stirring up people, act like you know you stirring up folks. Don't play stupid and don't think what you say has no weight and power like that when you know damn well it do. Like, sauce. You ain't got to fake sauce. You ain't got to fake a mood. You ain't got to fake a vibe. You ain't got to fake the truth. You ain't got to fake facts. <laughs> Like, you so saucy, you could be in any fucking mood. People still gonna fuck with you. You can help and not help people, and they still gonna fuck with you, whether you help them or not, because they respect you. I mean, a lot of people who scared to hurt other people's feelings, like, people don't hurt your feelings all fucking day. Huh? People that help and help and help and help, and that's what they do, but don't think too much to help they damn self. You know? Don't even ask why people ain't returning favors. Don't even ask why people don't help them. But you'll rather help and help and help just to build up that clout enough to when you make the statement, what I do for people, they don't do for me. I mean, that might be correct. That might be true. You know what I mean? But it ain't like you keeping it real, let motherfuckers know you need help. Truth comes out in a lot of ways. Either you don't say nothing and it, it comes out, because like I say, it deals with the whole two of pinnacle factor. Even if you cheated and then nobody you know knew about it, somebody know. You know what I mean? So just in case, I don't know, y'all went to a hotel with the shit, somebody thinking can call the hotel and see your name. Or see your, like, they seen you, so they can fit your description to the person that you asking them. Whoever inquiring about what the fuck you doing and shit like that. Like, you got apps out here, man, that your insecure-ass boyfriend can put on your phone to see who you emailing, to see who you talking to. I'm fucking to do a background check on your ass at any time. You, I, so much shit. Two of Pentacles attached to us. <laughs> I Google, I'm telling you, every month I get that shit from Google, telling me every store I've been to, every mile I drove, every mile I've walked, everything I've bought and purchased, and what amount of what I spend goes on what shit, like, can't sit and tell me you can't keep track of these scamming and jamming motherfuckers who got iPhones, nigga, I got a cricket, fuck is you talking about, and y'all know my every move, why ain't y'all catching these criminals out here? Who be on social media broadcasting how they finessing with paper down to their arm, guns, thought activities, scamming, jamming, all that shit. Come on, man. That's my question to Google. Y'all niggas know everything I do. So I, I know motherfuckers with iPhones. Shout out Cricket. I've been with them since the beginning. I fucking love Cricket. I was fucking with them when Unlimited Minutes didn't come to after 7 o'clock. I've been fucking with them niggas since before they was nationwide. I'm in Vegas like a motherfucking mad as hell because my cricket ain't chirping, baby. Cricket. Hey, I fucks with them. Hey, hey, hey.
I'm, I'm, I can't wait to do a commercial for them niggas when I get on, like, for real, for real. Like, I, you know what I mean? But back to the story, man. Like, Google know everything I fucking do. Why y'all can't catch these criminals? Why y'all can't catch these crooks? Real shit. Every store. Every purchase. Everywhere I go, y'all niggas know. Why y'all can't find missing people? Hmm? Why y'all ain't catching these pedophiles who going in the same places? Y'all... <laughs> <laughs> any rate, uh, karma to the masculine energy. We got the Ace of Swords: strength, power, authority, dominion, courage, valor. A for anything you need to acquire or attain to succeed, survive, and thrive in life. You give that to yourself, feminine, and it all comes through your mind. Ace of Wands would be awareness. Ace of Swords would be information. It's the source is, is a direction. It's ascension. It's going up. What's up? God is what's up. Any other direction is a distraction. And you need to be looking up. That's where substance is at. When you were born and came out your mama's womb, the first shit you did was look up. For what? Substance. No. You in a place you ain't never been before. What's the first shit motherfuckers do? Look up. <laughs> you go in a new house. This motherfucker trying to sell you a house. What's the first shit you do when you walk in the house? You... Nigga, you looking up, ain't you? You ain't looking at the floor. Fuck you mean? You ain't looking at the wall. You ain't looking this way. When you looking in the new places, you looking up. Make sure ain't nobody watching you. Make sure, you know what I mean? Because you know what's up there. Subconsciously, motherfuckers be knowing what's up. But acting like they don't. Everything goes up. Everything goes up. That's why it's the only right way, man. If you ain't ready to go up, if you ain't ready for what's up, then you can two of swords. That'll be the next step. You can go another direction, prepare yourself mentally, prepare yourself to go the right way. Oh, you ain't ready. Okay, you can prepare yourself. So you are ready. Hey, for anything you need to see, survive, and thrive in life, you can attain or acquire that your damn self. You don't need another mind, another body, another soul to attain that or acquire that or affirm that. Affirmation, swore, something you register. Listen, God indwells our mind, our brain, our mega center, our core processor right here. You know what I'm saying? The Ace of Swords, the brain is like... The loading chamber in the matrix. A, for anything you want to acquire or attain, you can get that here. Make sure you know what your brain is, feminine. Make sure you know how powerful your brain is. Like, you can literally lose everything from the stomach down. You could be just a walking, talking head with a few limbs attached to it. You can lose half your body through with an explosion. You can survive a hail of maybe like 12 to 16 bullets and still live. Okay, as long as your brain is intact, you can pretty much do any fucking thing. You don't have to know how to speak. You don't have to have a voice box. You got a brain, right? All right, that's all you need. You can type shit. You know what I mean? You can still function with a brain. That's what it, that's what it uh, like essentially makes us a lot. A beating heart makes us human, <laughs> but your brain lets you know you alive. And we only get one brain. Take care of it. It's attached to your body. If the body is a temple. Then, like your brain and your eyes is the window to your temple. Ascension, go up. Why? Because that's our job. The only job we really got in the world is to go up. Back to the source. Back to where we came. Let's see checking out the Matrix, but final card, and that's the karma. You gotta go up. You gotta ascend. Because if you don't, you're gonna not exist. It'd be as if you wasn't even here. Same fate, Satan, Devil, and Lucifer got when their time is done. There is no hell, I will argue. There's no other throne out here other than the one God sits on. It's seven trillion inhabited planets out here. That means it'll be seven trillion inhabited hills, but it ain't designed like that. This world when it's a default because the devil chose to default Adam and Eve's plan. 
Like, we should have been at level 7 as a planet. We're at level 3. That's fucked up. <laughs> a lot of development that happened. A lot of celestial sh events ain't even fucking took place. We still down here living like savages. There's people still here unaware of the source. I mean, like, hey, it's a lot of people, like, they alive, but they dead mentally. They dead spiritually. They dead when it comes to path and purpose and design. You be alive and be dead at the same motherfucking time. You know how, like, in Terminator 2, how Sarah kind of puts shit? Fuck them. They're already dead. You know what I mean? Like, Terminator, when he shot all the motherfucking people, he was like, they're going to die anyway. Why do you care? He's like, because you just don't go around killing people. And then he starts shooting people in the kneecaps. That's one thing. The masculines, because Sarah fucking Connor was a motherfucking masculine. That was the divine masculine moment if you've seen one. Nigga, my mama liked that. My mom's like Sarah Connor from fucking Terminator. Not crazy or the mental war type Sarah Connor, but like the whole all black with the hat, with the strap, in case shit go down and the world end. The world ended and I was a kid and the whole world was burning around me and shit. Me, my brother, and my sister as kids, we would try, like, the way mom was set up, nigga, we was in good hands, like all state. Anything happened, I know mom got us. Like, the fuck? She, that's, nigga, what? <laughs> fuck you mean? My mom was like, Sarah Connor, for real, cuz. Rebel. She was giving her kids divine true knowledge. The nigga since birth. Niggas out here believing in Santa Claus and all kind of little fantasy world shit. Mom had us reading. The book she had us reading as kids. Shit she had us on. You can tell. And then God is a big part of whatever fuck she was on. <laughs> you can tell. Saying all that shit to say this, Joe. Death is prevalent. We only got one life to live. People die every day, B. I might not even live to make it this, this upload. Not speaking death, I'm just pointing out how prevalent this motherfucker is. Anything can happen. Tomorrow ain't promising nobody. Somebody's going to not wake up tomorrow. Somebody's going to die in their sleep tonight. Could be you. Could be me. Could be any one of us at any fucking time. We don't know the date or the hour when we expire from here. But you can't aid to your death. You can't speed up the process of death coming. Speak it. Preach it. Let that shit stay on your tongue long enough. That motherfucker gonna be right on your doorstep, knocking right on your window. Death is mental. Which is something you register. <laughs> We're, I'm telling you, when we die, we, 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 nigga, we still live on. We ascend to the next place and the next journey. Death is only the beginning. For real motherfuckers that know this shit. You know? But if you're scared of death, you're just bringing that shit upon yourself. I'm meeting a lot of so-called spiritual motherfuckers ready to die all of a sudden. Ready for the revolution. When the revolution ain't televised, motherfucker. <laughs> ready for the end when this ain't the end yet. The whole world will know when the end is. Nigga, we still got a lot of work to do. Nigga's still on path. Motherfucker's still on business out here. Make sure you don't get caught up in this whole death race everybody rooting to see. The inner world is going to happen, but when it happened, divine people are really, people going to know who the fuck we was this whole time. We the light. What the fuck you think the world going to run to when, when the shit hit the fan? The motherfuckers that's been talking about this shit, the motherfuckers that have been aware, been trying to get your ass on point to focus on what really matters and not give a fuck about all this bullshit everybody on. Nah, nah, nah. It's going to take the lights to cut off. Motherfuckers going to be knocking down on divine's doors. Vines finna get persecuted like witches in a witch hunt. So it's already real for a divine life, but it can get realer. We got too much living to do before we die, and we ain't got time to waste. 50 cent. <laughs> um, final card in this message, we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is a karmic feminine. Or it's the Khalees Bossy card. But... Look at the video Bossy by Khalees. It's a it's decent. It's a raw ass video. It's Khalees being Khalees. I wouldn't say that Bossy shit is women empowerment. I, I won't say she wanna she ain't gonna win a Nobel Peace Prize for the Bossy video. Not disrespecting Khalees. I fuck with her hard. She's originator. I had a whole good rant, okay, before she totally became this card and shit over the years, but 
Not her. Fucking Khalees is not a fucking karmic, okay? It's the vibe of that music video. That ain't karmic. I'm just using it as an example. I'm trying to describe this shit the best way I can. Watch Khalees Bossy video. Everything about that song, everything about that video, like what it really means. Bossing up on a motherfucker that's trying to boss up on you. They just think you stupid and pretty and look good. But they don't know you got a brain. Boss up on this nigga. <laughs> oh, you're a female. They think, you know what I mean? They finna finesse you. They think they finna come in your whole little operation and and, and, and get you all in your feelings and hit you with this wham wham and have your ass on their level. Oh, no, no, no. They got it fucked up. Oh, yeah. Do him like that. Somebody coming with some shit to fuck your whole image and career up and they get fucked up in the process. Like this gay motherfucker try to out me one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, call himself trying, right? Made a big thing about it. I guess he made a move at me and I ain't get that nigga no play. Cause nigga, fuck out of here, boy. Who you thought what you what you thought this was? Like what you thought this was, this nigga mad. Then a nigga ripped the shirt. Like I had a white beater on. Motherfucker ripped the shirt off me. And my chest area is hanging all out and shit. Drunk. Right? Thought it was a vibe or something. I don't know. Feminine energy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this nigga was highly mistaken. So then, embarrassed <laughs> by making a play with no avail, it's like he stormed out the door to tell everybody I'm gay. Oh, this nigga, he gay. He, ooh, ooh, he, he, he doing this and doing that. Man, a lesbian. And I gotta say it because that's what she was. She was a lesbian. She stepped through the crowd. Check my sister, nigga. Nigga, how the fuck you going out here saying boom on that? Boom, cool as a motherfucker. I know a couple motherfucking bitches even smashed. But you out here lying saying you fuck me. And I don't even like dick. Let's talk about that. <laughs> like, in the process, this nigga so-called calling himself trying to out a nigga. He gets out. It's this energy right here. <laughs> I'm a nigga. Like, I can only imagine. Imagine how females do other females around this motherfucker. And when I say that shit all the time, women do other women grimy. Like a nigga would never do another nigga how females be doing they so-called friends out here. The setup, the backdoor game from one female to another, that shit be heinous. You know what I mean? Like what happened to me, that's just, that's some whack ass shit on a nigga level. Real nigga level, you know what I mean? But it's like somebody trying to fuck your shit up and end up fucking they self up in the whole process. That happens. I mean, God ain't just protecting your physical body. He protecting your image. He protecting your sauce. You making some out here. Like, come on, man. <laughs> God work in mysterious ways. God is absolute. You know what I mean? And... Even if you do some bad shit, it's good. Because it's God doing it. That's the message I got. I hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D. Boom. Please stay tuned for more messages. I holla. <laughs> I holla.